stand still, Judith, so we can hear. I can hear. I've been hearing for hours and hours. And God is... And God is giving the privilege uh, to us to listen today. Be still, Judith. So we can hear. This one speaks life. True, and I want no creeping insect to share this life with me. It is but the grass that rubs against your ankle. With a brown body, four legs, and what looks like wings. Hush, Judith. It'll only make you hungrier. When my mind feasts on the thought of food, my feet don't cry so loud at this long stem. Oh, look, it's Athelia. Athelia! Shh. Athelia, right here. Judith, easy. It's so good to see you. Isn't this wonderful? We're enjoying it. It's long, <laughs> but we're enjoying it. Where's Benjamin? Oh, he's over there. He sent me to find my son, Becker. Have you seen him? No. Shh. Ah, uh, he said for us to sit down. Oh, thank heavens. Here, sit with us. Becker will show up. Don't worry. <laughs> Is Benjamin here? Oh, yes, we've been to all of these meetings. Even before he came to Gala and I was, Jesus had to leave Galilee because of Herod. Yes, we heard about that. That awful happening with his friend John the Baptist. Benjamin says that Herod thinks Jesus is John the Baptist risen from the dead. Herod would think that. What does he, how does he explain John and Jesus when they're both together? I don't know. He may not even know about that. But Benjamin heard one of Jesus' disciples teaching in Nazareth all about John the Baptist and what he had been preaching about before he baptized. Did he tell about Salome? Because that is what I would like to hear. I heard that she twirled around Herod with all those veils until he would have done anything she asked. Dirty old man, thinking he could get by with adultery just because he's Herod. <laughs> I don't know what this world is coming to. A body's not safe, you know. Thieves roaming around, free as grass. Children being snatched from their homes for evil purposes. Oh, I'm sorry. These people are good. Becker is safe here. People may be foolish to stay here at a meeting like this for so long, but they are good. Oh, what's happening up there? Well, uh, Jesus and his disciples gathered together about something. The disciples seemed worried, but Jesus didn't. <laughs> he never is. He's compassionate. He cares about what people around him care about. But he never worries. Do you know what I mean? No, dear. I don't. When I care about something, I worry. But then again, he is a man. <laughs> Men don't worry well. He'll be worried all until I help him do it. <laughs> but I feel he, Jesus, is just as much for me as he is for Benjamin. I've always thought a woman is a good thing to be. It's getting the men to think that was the problem. <laughs> What's happening now? Oh, uh, he's praying, I think. He's... He's lifting something up and blessing it, small, in a pouch. Oh, there's a boy there with him. Uh, this, one of the disciples, the one called Andrew, is holding the boy's hand. Becker! Becker! Oh, what is he doing? 
doing up there? That is lunch in Jesus' hands. Oh no, I hope Jesus isn't going to eat that. It's leftovers. Oh, I packed it in a, in a pouch to tie to his belt this morning. Oh, what has that child done? Oh, I can't believe he would do a thing like this. Oh, what's happening now? Oh, Jesus is dividing the lunch with the disciples. Dividing what? It's only a few leftover fish and about five rolls. They're not even fresh. Why didn't I beg fresh rolls this morning? <laughs> Why should you? You didn't know your son was going to have a picnic with Jesus. <laughs> I don't think they're going to eat it themselves. Oh, good. Uh, they're giving it to the people. Special serving. Looks to me like there's going. 